Between allergies and some kidney problems this month, my excitement got a little tamped down. <laughs> I was so excited and then went like pew afterward, but I've been working at it. Hi everybody, today I'm going to be doing my end of June check-in and also the summer extra sheets and getting ready for July, that whole thing in my power sheets. I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm actually filming this a little earlier in the month than I usually film it because right after I'm done with this, we are heading out of town for a few days and I want it to be done before we go. So technically there is still a good third of June left, maybe a little less than a third. Looking at this though, even knowing I have that much time left in the month, I already can tell you I can I know things are not gonna get done. It's funny, you look at this and it's I either had great success or absolute didn't do anything. So let's take a look. As for my June 28 deadline, I have it's not June 28th yet and I'm not there yet, but I'm making progress. I did turn some of my excitement into action, although between allergies and some kidney problems this month my excitement got a little tamped down <laughs> I was so excited and then went like pew afterward but I've been working at it did my analysis planned out quarter three it's not fully planned out but uh, a lot of the plans I wanted to make are made I still need to like kind of refine those plans and I'm gonna work on that next month or maybe while I'm traveling but for now the basics are planned out monthly budget it's done I explained in a video probably that went up Yesterday, as of when you're watching this, when I set up my Erin Condren, I kind of go into more detail about how I'm not going to be writing budget shit down because honestly, my husband's online system works better and I just sit there with him while we do it and it's working that way. So I don't need to reinvent the wheel just for the sake of writing shit down. We already did our date night. We actually had a couple of them this month. That was kind of nice. Now we're into the section of, st and looking at the other things I still finished, I planned out my June deadlines and my quarterly taxes got filed for the first time ever. I'm so proud of myself. Now looking at the monthly tasks that aren't done yet, which ones do I think are actually going to get done and which ones do I think are going to get punted? The kitchen beadboard on the table is definitely going to get punted. There's just no more weekend time. Although I think the first week of July, it's probably going to get done. Jesse told me to go ahead and order the table so that may get done. It's one of those like nooks that goes in the corner, but we can't assemble it and install it until the beadboard is done. I need to get RJ as part of his summertime like manservant work. He needs to do the uh, fill in all of the nail holes and like with spackle or whatever and then sand everything down and then we can put the chair rail on and paint them and that'll be done and then from there we can add the table. So this may get about half done, I'm thinking, by the end of June. So I'm gonna put half here just to see where my predictions go. Hiring a housekeeper. I really need to do that and we just have not had the time to figure it out. So that's probably not gonna get done at all. Refine the Skillshare list. Unless I get that done while we're traveling, probably not. Gym membership with Jesse. We almost did it, but we were running out of time on his lunch. It was one of our chances to sit down and eat together. So I'm guessing it'll probably be August when that happens because July I'm having surgery mid month and I don't want to sign up for a gym membership and then not be able to use it for two of the weeks in that month. So it'll probably be August. And finish website migration, not a fucking chance. So all so aside from the kitchen beadboard and the table, everything else is getting punted. Looking at my situation here, I have been on top of meal planning, cooking with bell peppers, although technically I haven't really been cooking with bell peppers. I've just been eating them raw. Thanks to Colleen at, uh, she's make something with us on Instagram. When I was in Seattle, she got me to eat raw bell peppers and they actually were pretty good. So I have been just eating them raw instead of cooking with them. Working on prints, whether I have been painting or planning or whatever, that has happened a little bit every week. Notice with the finances, both business and budget, I have been on top of those for the first time since the beginning of the year. Spring declutter has been going well. We actually did a lot of the work in the garage, which was really exciting. Family plan time, we did twice, and then this last week, not so much. And then inbox zero, not a fucking chance this month. Like, I, my inbox, if you are waiting on an email from me, it's probably buried amongst the 600 or so emails I have to dig through. I have been so out of it with my allergies that I have not had the, I've barely been hanging on, even with my truncated video schedule, I've barely been hanging on 
to staying on top of everything. The only people who have gotten very specific email replies from me have so far have been the people with the book because that's been the focus. Now looking at my daily action items, my 100 day project basically fell off the map and I think I'm gonna just drop it at this point because I am too stressed out and it's just one extra thing. If all it's giving me is stress and not actually giving me anything fun, then it's not worth it. And maybe if I wasn't getting scheduled for surgery and the book and having all this over my head right now, maybe I'd be okay with it. I just remember I started this project right before I found out about the book deal going through. So I'm just, I'm, I'm making myself a promise here to be nice to myself about it. Exercising, I've gotten some walking in, but that's about it. Working on the book's been happening and working outside the house hasn't happened at all. And most of that's because my allergies have been so bad. Oh, well, technically I did. I had a business lunch with my husband where we actually, what day was that? I think it was Thursday. We had a business lunch where we actually sat down and did some planning during lunch, which was amazing. Anyway, looking at this, like I said, it's like a bunch of extremes, either, either yay or bleh. So not bad. I'm going to go to the month in review and I'm going to review it now, even though we still have a vacation coming up because might as well. All right, so here is my June month in review. Let's go over it. This month, I am especially grateful for my good co-parenting relationship with the other household. Jesse's in my relationship with my ex-husband and his wife. We needed to lean on that this month quite a bit, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, goals that are going well. I'm so excited about my business finances. It actually goes to here. Progress I'm celebrating even if it was small. Paying quarterly taxes isn't small. I am very proud of myself. Uh, someone I'm grateful for and why? Jen Leeson. She is awesome. She is one of my patrons. She is one of my longtime planner friends and she sent me a card just because with a little ribbon in it saying hanging tough achievement award just because she figured I needed it right now and I really did and I'm going to thank her when I like in the patron Facebook group and everything else but I also wanted to just say thanks Jen I really needed that when you sent it someone else I'm grateful for is my grandma now I have bitched before about how my grandma isn't always great at scheduling when she comes down here she's blind mostly and so it takes more she can't get around she needs people to help her and in the past it has happened in ways that have been really difficult for me to be able to help her with especially because all of my other siblings cousins who live in the area all work regular nine to five jobs and so I'm the one who kind of gets that as one of my things to do but this time around maybe it's because I arranged her travel but grandma's trip went smoothly and it was really nice to have some time to talk to her some one-on-one -on -one time and some time with Jess to just talk to her about kidney stuff by everything else and it reminded me how grateful I am to have her to talk to I'm choosing grace over guilt about dropping the 100 day project like I already said, I already mentioned the taxes. A favorite memory from this month is having sushi with Jesse to celebrate my hitting 50k subscribers on YouTube as well as some other things. We just hadn't been able to like sit and just be adults with each other for a while and it felt really good and it was just nice to get out. We went and had a drink at a bar like grown-ups beforehand and it just it was nice. It was nice. A good lesson I learned. Trying things can't hurt. There are two kind of ways that this has been sort of made clear to me in the past month. One was trying the bell pepper. That didn't hurt. I actually liked it. And number two was we moved a piece of furniture from the garage into the kitchen and I was kind of resistant to the idea, but now I am thrilled that it's there and I realize that maybe if I stop being so fucking stubborn all the time and actually try things, if it doesn't work, what, what did it hurt? right? That's what I'm trying to remember. What I'm saying no to next month, anything that's not already on my calendar and already there's too much on my calendar because my surgery got scheduled for almost exactly mid month. And my book is, I need to try and be done with the book by then because I will be recovering for the next couple of weeks. And it's just like the only way it's going to happen. So I'm also writing a sermon, so I'm going to be fucked. So I'm not saying yes to anything next month, except for recovery time. That's it. Just thought you all should know that. <laughs> I'm also probably going to be extending my truncated schedule into August. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, moving forward. Now it's time for the summer check-in. So the way the power sheets work is that there is a quarterly kind of check-in that's themed depending on what time of the year it is. And so for this summer, it is have a fruitful summer. 
Traditions help us cultivate connection through meaningful shared experiences and summer is the perfect time to get started with sunshine, longer days, and extra margin in your schedule. <laughs> What's that like? Use this space to brainstorm. Whether you're dreaming of a tradition you've done before or something new you want to start, now is the perfect time to build community. And then it gives you some ideas and then there's spots for three traditions to start. Tradition to start with who, action steps to get started. By the way, I'm gonna kind of peek back at my spring. It's funny, I actually need to go back and update this as well because we did that. So I have not dealt with all of this, but I finished everything that I put on my clear the clutter checklist. As a matter of fact, the kitchen bookshelf and the bedroom bookshelf has been replaced with new, better bookshelves that are much more organized. So I have actually done some pretty well from this one. So now let's think about this for a hot minute and I'm gonna use some colors. I'm gonna use these two colors again because they are bright and beautiful. So some of the ideas here are start a book club, host a holiday party, throw a favorite things party, schedule monthly hangouts, keep a book with memories, start a group text thread, initiate weekly dinners, vacation together, go berry picking, start Taco Tuesday, Days, attend weekly workout classes, monthly movie marathons, host a cookie bake off and camp together. Now I'm looking at this and the funny thing is I already schedule my hangouts with my patrons and those actually work really well not only for being part of Patreon but also just for making me feel like I get grown up contact with friends every week which is amazing. I'm not going to brainstorm more ideas because I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to write them down and I'll talk about them. All right, so here are the ones that I brainstormed. The first one I've already been talking about. It's a wellness journal slash planner, kind of like the uh, Keep a Book of Memories. Who am I gonna share it with? There's the Wild for Fitness group. There's also a bunch of you on the internet. If I decide to post this in the Patreon group and in the Big Llamas Love Lettering group or on my Instagram, I'm sure I'll find other people who wanna join me. So if you might be interested in joining me in documenting your wellness journey, however that might look, let me know in the comments. Or if you're already doing that and you know about people who are already doing it, let me know about that too. The steps to get started. Decide on the planner, which I think I've decided on, but I'm not quite sure yet, so stay tuned. Uh, use it for the month of July. Like, actually use it so I can figure out how it's going to work and post about it weekly somewhere. Figuring out where is one of those steps. Uh, the next tradition is Taco Tuesdays. I already make tacos on a fairly regular basis, but the tacos I make are the same tacos. They're ground beef tacos. I'm thinking my kids, my husband, I will all enjoy if we do tacos every Tuesday and find like a chicken taco recipe or shrimp tacos or whatever the case may be. Do some different carnitas. I've done carnitas tacos before and they're delicious. And with who would be Jesse, Katie, RJ, anybody else who wants to come over and have dinner. So the trick will be to find more recipes than just the one I already use, to teach the kids how to make some of them so they can take charge of Taco Tuesday. I know Katie would probably be down for sure and RJ needs to learn to cook and then plan it out. I talked about in my Erin Condren setup video for my next planner that I wanna try planning monthly, and if I do Taco Tuesdays, that makes part of that planning monthly easier. And then tradition to start, a summer barbecue where we invite friends over. Jesse has wanted to do this for so long, so we need to do it. We'll probably have to be beginning of September for us because with my surgery and everything, but you know, have our friends. Either it can be a family barbecue when the kids are here or a barbecue for grown-ups when the kids aren't here but we have various people we could invite pick a date and make sure the backyard's cleaned up because right now it's kind of a wreck as the house has been kind of rearranged for painting now we're on to this section this section has shown up multiple times i need to go and rate everything and say why i gave that rating and then compare it to the last time the refresh that is And I want to compare to the springtime check-in. So for my health in the spring, it was a four and I marked it as a three. And maybe the reason it went down is because I am fucking stressed out about this surgery coming up. And I'm just like, nothing has really changed in terms of my overall health, but between the never ending allergies and having this surgery coming up and feeling super depressed about it, I just, I'm not in a good place when it comes to my health. I didn't even put anything else here. I just wrote blah, because that's where I'm at. Friends, I put five, which is better than a two that I gave it in March 
because over this last amount of time, I had good times with friends at Go Wild. I had great times with friends in Seattle. And although, and there's been other times we've hung out with friends, it's been really nice. I still have not done enough. That's why I put needs more, but I'm probably gonna be saying no to any more friend stuff, at least for the next month or so because of the surgery. So. I don't know if that's going to help. Spouse significant other, I rated as a nine in, that was a nine as well before, but yeah, it felt really good. And Jesse and I had some great communication with each other and it's been feeling really nice. I still want a honeymoon, but in general, it's felt like on an upward, so probably could even go to a 10, but I'm not ready to give it a 10 yet, but we have been on a nice upward tra 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 trajectory, can I say it, in the Gunter Baldo marriage. Family, I put five, which is an improvement on the three from before. Five is because, yay, the school year's over, but it's still not great because it was a rough school year. Rough, 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 rough. Let's just, we're hoping that the next school year is going to be better. And I'm going to say yes to this summary, loving on my kids, and no to being a doormat when it comes to my kids. Finances, I rated a seven, which is an improvement over the four it was because I paid quarterly taxes and I am as aware of both my business and personal finances as I have ever been. Still has room for improvement, but I'm feeling good about the strides I made this last quarter. I'm going to continue my trajectory. That's what I'm saying yes to, continuing my trajectory to doing well and saying no to unnecessary stress. One of the things that Jesse is trying to work with me on is realizing that even when we're working with money, that doesn't mean that I need to fucking stress out about it. Like I stress out when stress is not warranted. And then that means when stress is warranted, I turn into a complete basket case. It comes from a really bad relationship with money, let's just say. Spiritual and personal growth, I rated a five. I had rated that an eight before. So that one went down. Biggest reason is I've been so disconnected from my church life the last month because I have just been either traveling or spending time with family or doing other things or being exhausted. And on top of all of that, it's the end of our tenure with our temporary minister and our new minister is coming and I'm kind of just in a down slump at the moment. We haven't been, we've been on a hiatus from singing. Next month I've got a lot of church going on until my surgery. So hopefully that will reinvigorate me, but I'm not going to say yes to any other commitments and I'm going to continue to be introspective, which is something I've been working on quite a bit lately. Work was a six, downgraded it to a four and it's basically completely, completely as a result of being stressed out as fuck because of the book. It's just a big project. And once I'm done, that's <laughs> so why I said, what I'm saying yes to you, finishing the book, what I'm saying no to, everything else. Once the book is done, I'll be able to think a little bit more clearly, but I'm starting to get into the twitchy phase. Let's put it that way. And then recreation, I just put what's that, put a big old zero, which is still, it's lower than the two I gave it. I wrote what's that there. So obviously I'm struggling. Even though I went to go wild in Seattle, those were also both work trips. Jesse and I were just musing the other day that we need to take a vacation. We're actually gonna be spending one night out after dropping the kids off at summer camp in a few weeks. And I'm looking forward to that. I think that counts as a big, as like some amount of recreation, maybe even adult recreation, if you know what I mean. So my word for the next three months, what was my spring word? My spring word was action, but I think my word for the next three months is going to be breathe. I have to finish the book. I have surgery. School's going to be starting again. Somewhere in there, we have to make a trip to the East Coast. It's going to be a lot going on, and I've got some big plans for my business once the book is written, and I just need to make sure to take a few minutes and breathe and not like completely lose it. Now it's time for the goal refresh. I'm not sure if I'm going to change any of my goals or if I'm just going to rewrite them. It says rewrite them in different words. I don't feel like doing that. So I'm going to just place my little flags and get going. I'm using the power sheets, the cultivate what matters sticker book. This one, I'll have it linked below if it's available. I enjoy it for this specifically because I like having the color coding functions. All right, here are my goals. I have made a little bit of changes, but not much. I did not change any of these bottom five. So treat my whole self, mind and body kindly, nurture a healthy and loving marriage, foster more quiet space, 
create an environment I am proud of and balance taking action and setting boundaries with work. None of those changed. Those are all doing well, but I don't think there's anything in them that needs adapting. These other ones though, I did make a few changes. Continue developing and participating in a healthy family financial practice. I basically, before it said develop and be part of or whatever, and now we're working on it. So we're just going to continue working on it. Same with this one, develop my vision of a healthy and sustainable business picture. I have already done the thinking and done some of the groundwork and actually made some progress. So now instead of trying to think of it, I need to actually start acting on it. Strengthen our family relationship, giving each member what they chiefly need. That is actually the adaptation from where it said before. Strengthen our family relationship, building support for each of us. What I realized after this last couple of months and how rough things have been is not that we all need support, but we all need different support. And that's the thing we're gonna work on identifying in the next quarter. Now to move to July. So it's gonna be a long video and for that I apologize. In case you couldn't notice, I have some specific things on my mind. My, what's stressing me out? My surgery, first and foremost. And then on top of that, getting the book finished on time because of my surgery. And in general, holding my life together so it doesn't feel like it's flying apart at the seams, which is kind of a feeling I've been having lately. And then all of that goes into the fears I have, which is basically shit's gonna implode. Like that's what I'm afraid of. It's not one thing, it's not many things. It's all of the things right now. I am basically on edge constantly. Maybe that's one of the good parts about having surgery though. If I gotta get everything finished before the surgery and then I'm on a bunch of painkillers that'll force me to be relaxed. <laughs> Who knows? Re relaxation through the wonders of modern medication? Maybe. Um, and then I am hopeful that the surgery goes well and recovery is smooth. That was not soon. It was supposed to say smooth. I guess I'm losing my shit. My sermon goes great because I'm giving one right before my surgery, literally two days before my surgery. My kids have a blast at camp and the book is done on time. Those are all my hopes. <laughs> all right, let's fill in this for prepare well. So here we go. My kids have camp. My husband and I are spending the night out when we drop them off at camp. I'm a Sunday service assistant at church one weekend. The second weekend, I am giving the sermon and singing. My husband's company has a family party. I have surgery. There's the Peach Festival, which we normally go to, but I don't think I'm going to be going to because it's going to be on the heels of my surgery. And then Katie starts band camp. The important to do's this month, finishing my book, writing my sermon, practicing the song for my sermon, practicing with my quartet for the fall, uh, getting RJ's trumpet fixed and getting Katie's flute ordered because Katie needs a new flute. And I'm excited for finishing the book in my night out with Jesse and not much else. I'm really not excited about July. Not going to lie. What was, I'm not going to make shit up. I'm going to just be honest. I'm not excited. July is stressing me out. This was not a big enough indication of that. <laughs> All right, I don't have a ton of stuff on this brain stream, but everything on here needs to get done. And I think it's because I've been so focused on what needs to get done in July that that's all I can spit out for this month. So planning my final book deadlines, getting the filming and the podcasting done for the time I'm gonna be recovering, the kids' instruments, picking our dates for New York and potentially the honeymoon. I guess this would be one that's not necessary, but we do have to get the New York dates picked and ideally picking the honeymoon dates as well. We think we know where we're going, maybe getting all August calendar done up front so I know what's coming for me when my surgery is over and then the garage and the beadboard both things that don't have to get done but I would really like them to get done and there should be a little bit of time for that maybe okay time for the tending list I'm just gonna get this done and then we will talk about it All right, here is my tending sheet. Now I'm gonna explain these things because there's a couple things that might seem a little odd. So looking at this, I've got 
a, a little bit of every category here, but by far the work balancing work category is the most. That's kind of ironic since it's all about balancing getting work done and setting boundaries and it's a lot of work, but I mean that's with the finishing the book that's just basically the way it's going to have to be this month. For work I have planning my July deadlines, doing my analysis. On the weekly I have Inbox Zero working on prints and then progress on a program I'm working on and then working on the book. For my finances, there's not much on here, which is good because I'm not going to probably be wanting to focus on money this month. It's just doing our household budget and then checking in on that budget weekly and balancing my work finances weekly. When it comes to creating an environment I'm proud of, I've got finish the beadboard and finish the garage organization. I think those can both happen this month, but if they don't, I'm not going to sweat it too bad. Kind of lower on the priority list than everything else. When it comes to the relationships, I've got my date night on here. It's just been a regular one. I should also probably put, oh, I gotta put the scheduling the trips on here too, that as well. And then for the family, you know, getting us all the things we chiefly need, having my kids' instruments taken care of, that's kind of a practical thing. Uh, getting family plan time in every week, that's the maybe also practical thing, I don't know. And then for taking care of myself, I have meal planning, the fruit or vegetable from the renal diet we're gonna work with this month is raspberries. I promised the kids in the summer when the raspberries gets good, that was when we would do it, because they love raspberries. I'm the one who struggles with them, so we'll see how that goes. And then exercise every day, even if it's walking and drinking my water. It was something I had in here, then I took off, then I'm putting it back because as the summer's starting, I'm needing more water and drinking less of it because I'm stressed out and I'm going more for the coffee. So I need to get back on track with that. Now, finally, the category where I put a couple things in it that I wasn't sure I was going to or not, that's the fostering more quiet space. I have scheduling my recovery content and writing my sermon. The sermon, I'm not sure where it would have gone, but that feels like a good one because I always feel really fulfilled after giving the sermon and it's going to be happening right before my surgery so that actually will be a nice even though the stress of writing it's going to be rough the actual act of giving it's going to be a nice way to kind of ease into my surgery week as for schedule recovery content while that is technically work if I have podcasts and videos scheduled for two weeks, knowing that I have that much space to get myself back and going again, that's going to make me feel so much less stressed out, which will foster quiet space to recover in. So I figured it would be better to put it under that category and really make it a top priority as I stuck that sticker there rather than just letting it ride. I put the You Can Do It sticker up here as well for my Just Get It Done, You Got This as my top priority is finishing the book. And that's what the Make It Happen sticker is for as well. These July deadlines are the book deadlines. And then taking care of the trumpet and flute is a must do because Katie has band camp starting at the end of the month and RJ has school the following month. And so both of those things need to be taken care of before all that goes underway. That is my power sheets for the summer check-in and the month of July. Like I said, I still have some time left in this month. And so I may actually be able to go back and get it. If you'd like an update on that, just keep an eye on my Instagram. I'll probably toss it either on the stories or on the feed once I'm done with the month of June so you can see kind of what wound up happening. But in general, I would love to know something that is happening in July. Obviously for me, the double harbingers of my book deadline and my surgery are basically making everything else seem minuscule or in comparison. So I would love to know if there's anything happening in July, whether good or stressful that you are, you have coming up. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.